Hello everybody, it's Sophie Ryder. It's so lovely to be back with you all today, but at the same time, I record this video with a very sad heart because it's my last day ever at Crown Place today. It's moving out day, um, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to record one last video here, um, as it's been very highly requested to give an all access tour to Crown Place. So I'm gonna be showing you the common room, the courtyards, what's around outside it, where it's placed, the bedrooms, the kitchen, you get the picture. Let's get started with today's video. Camera over to my mum. So go. this is, of course, the kitchen. Your kitchen is completely proportionate to how many people are in your flat sharing it. This was my kitchen, and there are only five of us in our flat. That's the smallest flat you can possibly get. So this is the smallest kitchen you will possibly get. I wish I could show you a bigger kitchen because they are massive, like when you've got a flat of eight people. Um, I don't know if this quote is correct, but it's like, three or four times as big as this. They really are huge. Oh, so if I just talk you through it, yeah, who was provided, um, there's an iron around here somewhere, your ironing board. Um, we only have one fridge because there's five of us, but as soon as you go up to six or more than that, you get two fridges, two ovens, much more uh, space over here. Um, my mum's currently standing on the sofa uh, surprisingly, that wasn't on my instruction, but uh, there's a sofa here, your sofa's okay. obviously bigger if there's more people. TV on the wall, I think it's lovely. Mum, if you just get down and you show, can you see from there the stools? Just a minute. This is, this is like where we eat on our stools. Sit on the stool, Sophie, just demonstrate. And uh, your appliances over there are all provided. So your kettle, your toaster, your microwave, um, ours broke at one point in the year and it was literally replaced the same day so they're really good with things like that and then come and look at the cupboards as I've said in a previous video um, your room numbers are on the cupboards so they're all allocated you get two of these each so that's mine this is mine down here and then uh, there's a few yes thank you there's a few that don't have any numbers on, like this one, if you look under here, um, all of these are like, have just spare, so you've got lots of storage space. Your bins here, which are emptied uh, three times a week, a normal bin, a recycling bin, a glass bin, you've got a bin over there, a smash glass, they think of everything here, and your cleaners visit three times a week, and if there's anything I can tell you about Crown Place, is that you're gonna love the cleaners. They're the nicest people in the world. I can vouch for that. <laughs> yes, well, they're so well. friendly. Okay. And the bin man, he's lovely. The bin man, yeah, Derek. Yes. Okay, one. Yes, I'm. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take you into the bedroom. I'm taking you into my bedroom, but this time it's going to be empty. If you've come from my other room tour, I think this is good for you to see it with nothing in it. So come in. That's it. This is the bedroom. Okay, so. We're in a, I think this is called a deluxe bedroom. I'll confirm all the details below. But there are three different bedroom sizes that you can get. The cheapest one is a single bedroom. I'm really sorry, but I couldn't get hold of a single bedroom today to show you. But let me assure you, it's exactly the same as this bedroom, which is the next one up, the next expensive one. The only difference is that this one has a three quarter bed instead of a single bed. So you've got exactly the same amount of floor space as a single bedroom. The only thing you're paying extra for is the three quarter bed. But all your storage is the same along here, whether it's a single bedroom or a deluxe bedroom, and you've got the shelf here, ignore my chicken. Um, and uh, obviously your feature wall you've got, mine is red, every block is different. If we look over here, out the window, um, I don't know if you can see, but theirs is lime green. The colour of your sofa in your kitchen is the same as the colour on your wall, fun fact for the viewers and um, obviously you've got an ensuite as well. If you want a more detailed uh, video about all the storage, I'll have the link in the description to my room tour and my Q&A about Crown Place. So this is your ensuite. Again, it's the same size whether it's a single or a deluxe. I haven't added anything to this. This is how it comes. Um, <laughs> You're going to have a good view of that. Um, this is a heated, heated towel rack. That's really important. You're going to love your heated towel rack. Sanitary bin is provided. They empty that 
uh, once a month. Um, glass shelf, uh, a shelf above here. It's a, it's a really nice little ensuite. I like it. Okay, next one. As many of you have requested, you want to see a studio flat. So in we go. Now again, I have to apologise profusely because um, there are actually two different sizes of studio flats that you can get. We are in the smaller one. Um, obviously the bigger one is more expensive, but we've just got access to this one today. Uh, so if you come on round. Okay, so if we look round here first, you've got your dining table here. You've got the TV in front of the bed, which I like. You can watch your TV from your bed. Um, here's your kitchen. This is all looking really nice. Um, this is a lot more swish than ours. Um, it's nice, it's like a hotel room in here. So um, obviously if you have a studio flat, which is what this is, it's bigger and um, it means that you're not sharing a kitchen, so everything is to yourself. Again, the same storage space. Um, and we'll just show them the ensuite, even though it's exactly the same as what I have. <laughs> show. Oh, I think they're showing. Um, Heated to towel rail. Yeah. Sanitary bin. Toilet. Okay, let's. So that's that. I have been in the bigger studio flat before. It's huge. It's really big. Um, this is obviously big as well, but the biggest studio flat you can get, you'll just have to take my word for it. It's really, really big. Like, it would carry on going out there. Just wish I could show you. It's very spacious actually, Sophie. Just sit at the table as though you're having your breakfast. Table for two? It's lovely. It really is. You could have your... And there's plenty of, cup yeah, plenty of cupboard space. So if you were someone with a partner, this is really nice it would be now. ideal, I wouldn't it? I see myself living in here. Mm. Having a friend to serve the weekend be nice. I'm very impressed. So now I'm going to show you the courtyard. Now there's two courtyards for Crown Place and that's basically where you get access to each block here. So there's F over there, E block over there, and then D block where we've just come from over there. And you've got your smoking area there, that wooden thing, and you can just see all the flats. So this is one of the courtyards, one of two courtyards. And um, obviously it's empty today because everyone's moving out, but usually there's always people out here. And when it's sunny like today, people sunbathe on the grass. It's just a really nice atmosphere. Whatever time of day you come here, especially in the middle of the night, there's always people out here. Um, and they're really secure. Uh, you can only get through these gates um, if you have your pass to scan. So yeah, these are your two courtyards outside of your blocks. Well, here we are in Crown Place reception slash common room. So we're down in the common room end. I'm gonna show you around. So we have a coffee machine and vendor machines. Over here, we have the Xbox. I love this little booth over here. Um, we've just ordered 300 pounds worth of games. I've said that in another video. Um, you've got a couple of pool tables loads of seating area there's always people down here as well which is really nice and you may know from my other vlogs that we often have events down here um it goes right up there and down there the desk you can see is crown place reception so this is on the ground floor of crown place you can see outside there where the blocks are um, it's open 24 7 there's always someone on reception that you can speak to um, so you can come down and pick up a parcel at 3 a.m if you really want to oh look here's the other courtyard so this is the common room okay so as many of you have requested I'm going to show you just outside of Crown Place so we're now looking at it friends on this is all of Crown Place you can see they've got different blocks and I'm actually glad you asked me to do this because I wouldn't have thought of it but Crown Place is perfectly placed we are right next to let me show you over here um, University Square, which is like the main part of campus where, oh, you can't even see it from here, but we're looking at it there. It's right there, but you can't properly see it, even though we're right next to it. And then all around here, like central teaching hub, you have lectures in there and 
just all around here, all these buildings you can see have lectures in them, so you can see just how close you are. Also, you have the accommodation office just behind me. And that's the accommodation office for all of the halls here. So Crown Place is the best place for that one. You've got Santander Bank, which is a, on the ground floor of Crown Place. And if you switch to them, uh, they'll give you a rail card for free, which gives you a third off train tickets for the entire time that you're at university, if you have a student account with them. They've also got a Cafe Nero, what else? Oh, I don't know how to properly explain how perfectly placed it is, but it's right in the middle of campus and you've got everything right outside it and you can see just how close it is. You could literally roll out of bed and be at your lecture in five minutes, so it's perfectly placed. So this is Crown Place from the outside.